Hello, welcome to another Linux Terminal Commands for Beginners tutorial. For this video I'll be talking about the VI Editor. Let's open up the terminal. The VI Editor is Unix's default editor, so naturally it comes packaged into Linux distros. VI stands for Visual Editor. For this video I will demonstrate use of commonly used VI commands ls. For this video I will be using vi on style.css. To access style.css with the vi editor, enter vi style.css. You're then taken to the vi workspace for the file style.css. Note if the file does not exist, vi will create the file. There are two modes in vi, insert mode and command mode. vi starts off in command mode. In this mode you cannot enter text. Attempting to add text will result in unexpected behavior. Instead let's look at the cursor. We can move the cursor around with the arrow keys. Down, up, right, left. The cursor moves one line in the desired direction. The X key deletes the character before the cursor. We can delete a single word beginning with the character on the cursor by pressing DW keys. Let's get rid of a couple of words. D, then W to start deleting from the cursor to the end of the word. D, W, D, W, D, W. Pressing Shift plus D deletes the remainder of a line starting with the current cursor position. Holding Shift D. Hold Shift D. Hold Shift D. Hold Shift D. Pressing the D key twice removes the entire line. Pressing the Y key twice copies the current line in the memory. Y Y. Pressing P paste what's in memory. P. Y Y to copy again. P to paste. Y Y to copy this line. P to paste. While in VI command mode, you can either cut, copy, or delete highlighted text. To enter highlight mode, press the V key. V. Now when you move the arrow keys, the text is highlighted in the direction you're moving. Right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow, up arrow, left arrow, left arrow. While the text is highlighted, the X key cuts the text. Use the arrow keys and move to where you would like to paste the text that we just cut and press the P key to paste. Alright, let's paste it here. Let's highlight some text. Press the V key to highlight. The Y key copies highlighted text. Now that we have text in memory, move the cursor to a desired location. Alright, this is a good spot. Press P to paste. To delete highlighted text, press the D key. Let's highlight some text to delete. V to highlight. Then press the D key to delete. In command mode, we can save and quit or quit without saving. Let's first quit without saving since I really messed up the file with the stuff I just did. Press the colon key, then Q to quit without saving. You'll see we can't quit since I modified this file. Linux is giving me a message. To force quit without saving, enter colon key, Q, and exclamation point. Let's go back into VI mode on style.css. VI style.css. As you can see, the file did not save. To quit with saving, enter colon W Q. Wait, before I exit, let me add something to the file to show that it saves. Using the insert I key, which I'll talk about in a bit, takes us into insert mode. We'll add some text. 
Okay, press escape to go back to command mode. Colon WQ to save and exit. Now let's go back to style.css with VI. VI style.css. And we'll see VI has saved our addition to the file. Now let's move on to insert mode. To get into insert mode, press the I key. I. Note to go back to command mode from insert mode, just hit escape key. From insert, escape, command mode. Press I key again to enter insert mode. While in insert mode, you can enter text where the cursor is located. You can move the cursor around with arrow keys. Hit escape to go back to command mode and let's try some of the other insert commands. Holding shift and pressing the I key lets you enter insert mode from the beginning of the current line. Shift I. A, B, C, comma. Hit escape again to go back to command mode. Holding shift and pressing the A key lets you enter insert mode at the end of the current line. Shift A. D, E, F. VI works like a standard text editor would while on insert mode. There are more things you can do with the VI visual editor command. To find out more on VI command, check out its manual page at man VI. This concludes my Linux terminal for beginners tutorial using the VI command. Here are some more Linux for beginners videos. Also please like or subscribe, but only if you want to. And lastly, thanks for watching.